So in the last video, we created a symbol. Um, we kind of got um, cut off there at the end of the last video, but I was actually done um, with the symbol. I was just explaining that when you go into the symbol, so when you double click into it, you enter a different timeline. So this is not what you're seeing here. It's not the main timeline. It is a timeline inside of the um, the symbol, the yin symbol. You can see that up here. So now you're inside of the yin symbol and it can have its own timeline. That timeline would play inside of scene one's timeline. So the main timeline would be scene one. You can have many different symbols in there and each one of them sort of doing its own thing. Okay, so how a symbol works, you can have multiple symbols in there. So here's one yin. I can click here and grab another yin symbol and drag it in there so there can be two yin symbols. There can be three. So there can be many of them. And each one of them can be, you know, modified in a different way. So this one can be made smaller. This one can be rotated. Okay, um, there's other properties as well. So if you click on this one here, um, you can go to color effects under none to brightness. So you can make it darker. You can make this one over here. So first you go to properties and down here effects, you can go to um, tint, you can have a white tint or, you know, purple tint or red tint. Okay, you can also make it um, see-through. So if you go to alpha, you can also make it kind of see-through if you want it to do that. Okay, so now there are three of these symbols on this timeline here. Okay, this timeline here and this layer here, there are three of these skin symbols. You can grab as many as you like. You can also have, you know, more symbols within symbols. All right, so one of the things I want to look at in this video, the most important thing is actually to uh, create a tween, okay, from one uh, inside of this symbol. Okay, so let's go back to um, here, our main timeline. I'm going to go over here and just select everything by clicking on the keyframe or I can just click and drag over this and delete. Okay, so I'm going to go up here to my select and then I'm going to go to my library and just bring one in over here. So just like the ball, I can animate it. I can move it from one side to another. Okay, here, key create insert frame and on the 31st, I can insert keyframe to the six, 60th and insert frame. Okay, so the 30th, I'm gonna have it over here. So from the first, it will move over here on the 30th, okay? And then on the 61st, insert keyframe, it'll move back to the original. So I'm gonna delete this one here on the 60th and go over to the first keyframe, copy, and go to the 61st keyframe and edit, paste in place. So we'll go from here, from left to the right, to the left. Okay, so of course we have to tween it. So I'm gonna go here, right click. So anywhere between the first and the second keyframe, we're meaning the first or the 31st frame. Okay, only the things with the red, I'm sorry, the circle in it is called a keyframe, right? So anyway, so right click on one of these frames and go create classic tween. So it's not a shape tween because it's not a shape, it's a symbol. So for symbols, you have to create classic tween and you can see the colors difference purple. And then again, create classic tween between these two keyframes. So it's going to go from here to there and back. So here to there and then back. So file, um, is there export, animated GIF, and save. Yin. All right, now I'm going to go here. So Yin goes from one side to the other side and then back. So bouncing back and forth. Okay, so as I'm doing that, um, I can also do a few more interesting things. Okay. All right, so let's go back to animate. So I can also um, maybe talk or blink. Okay, so how can I animate talking? I will have to move my mouth, but on the main timeline, my mouth can't move because I 
can only select the whole yin, but not just my mouth. So I double click inside of it. And inside this timeline, I can actually animate a few things. So first of all, I'm gonna go to everything and maybe go to 30. And the first one from the bangs to the last one, I'm gonna click shift. So select up here, 30, hold shift on your keyboard and then go down to the last layer and click and then right click and insert frame. So that inserts frame for all of them. If you didn't insert frame for the rest of them, then you will have missing layers, right? So all of them has to be just the same length. So here's my mouth. So I'm going to over here, maybe in the middle here, I'm gonna make it shorter, okay? So insert keyframe here in the middle and at the 30 insert keyframe. Okay, so in the middle here, I'm going to make it much shorter. Okay, so in the middle one, on the 15, I'm gonna drag this in. There we go. So then you have, yeah. So let's go see what that looks like. Okay, and then I'm also going to make my eyes blink. So at the very end, I'm going to that's 28, uh, 29 and 30, I'm gonna insert keyframes. Insert keyframe, okay? So on the, so this is what it looks like on my eyes. On the 29th, 30th, there are two keyframes. And then on the 29th, I'm just going to, here, let me zoom in to show you what I'm doing. So I'm just going to make it more narrow, okay? So it will blink. There we go. All right, so let's go back to the scene one and let's go see what that looks like. File, export, export animated GIF. So save and it'll be in. Yes, I'll replace it and let's go see what that looks like now. So you can see that blink in the eye and the mouth kind of moving like I'm talking. All right, so I really want you to have fun with it. You can even go as far as to adding a body, arms, legs. So, you know, see what you can come up with, have fun with this exercise. Um, and I would like you to please um, submit it after you are done as your class exercise. So um, my suggestion would be to, if you, you know, to create a body, you would have another layer called body, right? And then in your body, you would create a body. Okay, and again, it has, it doesn't have to be a very complicated shape. It could just be a rectangle, or it could even just be a drawing that you do, right? Um, here we go. So if I was to say add a body, I could just go like that. could be my dress. There we go. And then of course I might want some, um, there we go, maybe. Okay, if you don't like it, you can change it. So of course you want that to be a symbol. You can also animate this into different parts of your body. So each, the arm could be a symbol. Each arm can be a symbol, your legs can be a symbol, the dress or pants can be a symbol, and uh, you would animate it the same way you can animate uh, parts of your face. So I want you to spend quite a bit of time on this, have fun with it, and then for your class exercise, you would send me um, a little animation of yourself, okay? Um, try your best and see what you can come up with, okay? So this would also be a class exercise, and please submit it by Friday.